today or actually yesterday i started following a tutorial on youtube that explains you how to make doors in roblox of course it's not going to be as good as the real one but i'm going to follow the tutorial just kind of make my own version maybe like a dino version i don't know because of course i don't want it to be the same because i'm not a game stealer i don't like game stealing obviously that's not what i'm trying to do I just want to see how it all works. So the tutorial is by someone on YouTube called Gnome Code. And this is what we did yesterday. Basically, uh, he explained how to make two rooms, for example. You can have infinite, as many as you want. But this is like just two starting, just two simple rooms. And then when you go in one, another one comes behind it. So it just sort of randomly generates. Uh, and this is the lobby. I'm, I'll make it look better in the future, of course. We've only done like one tutorial yet, so it still looks bad. But yeah, so now if you start, you get into the lobby. Yo, it actually gave me my gear. Wait, it didn't do that yesterday, I think. Wait, how did gears get turned on? I didn't I didn't make any changes since yesterday. That's weird. From the lobby onward, it just spawns 10 more rooms behind it. Okay, so basically, yeah, you get the idea. Um... If you guys want to learn how to make this as well, of course, go to YouTube, look for someone called Gnome Code uh, Doors Tutorial in Roblox Studio. And he explains it very well. And yeah, here we have... Okay, so he generated somehow two blue... No, wait, three blue? Three blue, four red, and then three blue again. <laughs> exactly in order. It should be random, but it feels less random. It's just like... Three blue ones, four red ones. I don't know. I'm going to follow, the, uh, continue following this tutorial. I don't think I'll record every part of it. So I'll just come back once in a while and record part of it, I guess. And then turn that into a video. I don't know. I haven't really decided how I'm going to turn super long projects into a video, you know? Like, am I just going to upload the full thing? Like, just three hours? Should I just upload, like, full three hours of me building? I think that would be a little bit boring. Um, and then it's, like, not edited. I don't like that. So I think I'll rec record parts of it. and then, Or I'll just record the ending, mostly, when I just show the result. Maybe that's possible as well. Okay. Back to building. Whoa. 